what you do Just as long as you're chasing money Do what's right, never give up on it Bring it on, bring it on Are you ready? Are you ready? No matter how you try, don't you ever fall Keep your head up high and standing tall Welcome back. It's time for Etiquette with Janet Adetu. But let me see your pen. Mm-hmm. Oh, Simple. okay. This is mine. She's going to tell us what this means. <laughs> Janet, good to have you here. Good morning. morning. So, good to see you. Pen. Yes, pen etiquette. Let me start by saying that in the professional world, image is everything. Mm -hmm. In the business world, image is also everything. You'd be surprised how very little things actually build up or sabotage your image. Mm. So, um, so pens, we all have pens. We use the pens for a number of things. Jotting things down, writing things down as you can see, you know, meetings, you know, interviews. Most importantly, when you want to sign multi-million dollar deals mm -hmm. or seal contracts, <laughs> Sometimes everything <laughs> communicates. <laughs> and even down to when you want to append your signature, it's really all about the pen. You know, sometimes there are some pens that bring out your handwriting beautifully well. Yes. And you want to stick to those kind of pens. There are some pens that really bring your handwriting out in such an awful rough manner that even you, when you're writing, you actually feel uncomfortable with the ink. And it's just to tell you that pens really do make a difference mm -hmm. and they mean a lot mm -hmm. so if i was going to say anything about the pen first and foremost i have to really say that a pen says a lot about you it says a lot about you about your personality about your character it's really in the pen and most times i would say the pen actually brings out your professional image and it makes a big difference so we take the pen for granted a lot Too much. but most times if you rub shoulders in the corporate world I have to say, if I were going to ask you, and I always say this in my training, what do you think is the most important aspect of a man's image? And they will say, oh, the watch, um, the cufflinks, oh, the shirt, or the suit. And I, say, and I keep saying, no, no, no. Then somebody, and then, because I link it with grooming, and they still can't connect it. And I'm, I have a picture of a hand on the screen, and they still can't connect the nails. I said, no. <laughs> and I said, okay, hand, you're getting closer. But really and truly. The most important aspect of a man's image is in the pen he carries. Mm. Mm. So when you are next rubbing shoulders with the creme de la creme and you're wanting to sign a multi-million dollar signature, the entire process of signing is in the pen that you carry. Mm. Do you get that? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> your image really is everything and surprisingly in the pen. So you can imagine carrying an, an ordinary pen that kids use in school to sign. And then carrying an important pen, it makes a big difference. And if you really check in the corporate world today, most executives just check the pen that they carry. Yeah. It's very significant. It's very important. It's not about um, who is who and I'm, I, I can afford a more expensive pen than yours. It's really about their personal brand that they're trying to build for themselves. And everything really does communicate. So when you're even wearing your suit, your tie and all of that, really and truly the most important part is when you bring out your pen to sign. You know, mm. there was a time I, you see corporate executives, most of what they carry are found in pens. Yeah. They always, when they pull them out. It's not by them. accident that when you want to give an executive a pen, um, a, a gift. Most times you see pens and not cheap pens, ex you know, nice, good -looking sleek, pen. good looking pens. Okay, so and it doesn't have to be expensive. That was what I wanted to say. It doesn't Is have it to be about how expensive. No, no, no. It, it, it's really about most times your brand, okay, your, you can tell your brand in a pen. You want a, a pen to be sleek to be stylish, to be smooth, to be comfortable mm. when you carry it as well. And it speaks to your personality, it speaks to your character, believe it or not, in the pen that you carry. And most people don't realize this, but it's, it's not about being cheap or cheerful. It's really about being, you know, as you, and I, I, I want to say, you cannot be an intern in, a, in an organization and you're buying a $500 pen. Mm. No, mm. you have to grow with it. Take your pen and notch up as you as you step up the ladder, okay? So you can get a pen that is not so expensive, but it looks stylish. Some of these pens I have here, they're not expensive, but they look stylish and sleek. Mm -hmm. And when you bring them out, oh, it's it very nice. It's not expensive. It's not even a branded pen, but it's just nice, smooth, and sleek, okay? <laughs> and that's what I, I keep telling people in the pen. And if you check in the corporate world today, sincerely speaking, they do not take for those that know. 
the pen that they carry for granted. So if you have a pen that, um, you know, the cover is looking like that, which has been run over by, you know, so what does this say, say about some you? Bad, there are some bad habits that people just don't really realize it because <laughs> like it becomes the pen. a habit. Okay. So the bad <laughs> habits I have here is chewing the tip of your pen. Now sometimes, that's why you, if you buy a nice, sleek, decent pen, you get out of the habit. It's when you buy a plastic lid pen like this or this, for instance. There's a tendency that you're going to chew it and you feel comfortable chewing it because it's going to be bending and bending. But if you have a metallic pen or the type you're carrying, you're, you're, yeah, you see? <laughs> so there's some habits that people tend to do. Yeah, and you're, you're busy thinking and you're really working, you know, and you're busy chewing at the pen and you don't realize it. You're still carrying the pen with a chewed up, mutilated tip and you're writing with it. It kills you. It sabotages your image immediately. So you have that. Or you have some people that will buy that... You know, you're all in an office, and before you know it, tick, 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 you know, irritatingly. And mm. people do this and still thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. But those are bad habits, you know. That's, it, it can sabotage your image. Sometimes you're like, okay, hurry up, hurry up. I'm wasting time, and you're busy doing this, and it's annoying, you know. Mm. And then you have some people that, okay, well, I wouldn't say it's bad, but the truth is they're putting the pen in their top pocket. It's a bad habit because sometimes it will leak. And sometimes you begin to find yourself discarding shirts. I remember there was a time my husband always had the habit of putting his pen here. It was comfortable for him and it was accessible. I understood that. But what happens? Most times the ink begins mm -hmm. to stain the shirt and he has to discard a very nice shirt, you know, time and time again. And you have to be mindful pens do not belong no, in, the, in, in the, that the, position. The new shirts so now don't have where exactly pockets should out. they be? So your pen, ideally, ideally, if you're, really, if you're wearing a suit, nothing wrong with keeping your pen in the inner pocket of your suit. It should not necessarily be displayed. So some people say, I'm going to buy an expensive pen, I want everyone to see it. No, it's not about showing the pen, bringing out the pen when you want to use it, yes, but not displaying the pen. Put the pen inside your jacket, that's fine, okay? But... Um, other than that, keep it inside your briefcase or your or the bag that you're carrying to work. You understand? That that's the that's the easiest way. Other bad habits that people tend to get into is um, you have a pen on you, quite all right, and you're looking for the pen at the bottom of your bag. You say, I have a pen, I have a pen, it's here, it's here, and you don't find it eventually, but you know it's there. So you have to keep your pen somewhere that is easily accessible. But it happens time and time again, or most times when you know you should have a pen. Another bad habit is. Do you have a pen there, please? Mm -hmm. Do you have a pen there? You should really have a pen on you. you know? You're going into the bank. Mm -hmm. Most times in the bank, you want to fill out a form, and you know you're going to fill out a form, right? And then somebody, and most times, if you're not you, careful, you're, you're going to forget your pen yes. with that person. Yeah. So be mindful. I know people who have given the expensive pens unconsciously to someone, and they've forgotten the pens with them. And some people, they don't even have the courtesy of actually returning the pen back to you. So they take the pen quite all right. They use it. And maybe because you've gone out of sight just for a second, they keep the pen. So it's, the onus is on you to, you know, to, to ask for your pen back. But ideally, why should you ask for your pen back? They should use it in a matter. And they will even tell you, I just need it for a minute, just for a second. And before you know it, They're the gone. person has gone with your pen. Um, another thing I should um, say about pens is that um, when you're carrying a pen and you're going in for an interview, do not carry the competitor's pen. You're going for an interview, and sometimes you have these pens, and they're reading, branded. they're branded, and you walk right in unconsciously with a branded, pen. a branded pen. Or, for instance, you're going to meet a VIP client, okay, and um, in the midst of that place, there are all bankers there, and 